going to select three more of the black wires. Right hand jack on the 250K pot, the A250K, which is treble, will go into K3. Once again, we're using our thumb from our left hand to hold the wires in on the pot while we push the wires into place with our right hand. The middle connection on the A250K will go to K2. And the leftmost connection, labeled CW, on the A250K treble pot will connect to K1. Now we've wired up all of the pots and the power for the tone stack and it's ready to go. Now we need to connect up the input and output on the tone stack. And at this point, if you want to uh, connect up the tone stack to the super hard on module instead of the fuzz factory, move along to the next video. But right now we're going to disconnect the output from the fuzz factory. And that cable is an E2 cable, which is kind of a short cable. We're going to replace it with a longer cable. It makes it easier for us to reach over the top of the tone stack module to get to the output connection. Now, previously we had hooked up one of the E2 cables from the output jack down below up to the output connection on the fuzz factory module at L12. Now we're going to undo that so we can change that cable to a longer one. And then we remove its ground connection. Now here's a mistake that's easy to make. Ashley is about to pull out the wrong ground connection. That's the ground connection that belongs to the input cable. So we have to put that one back. Uh, so put that one back. Anywhere that's handy wrestling a little bit with the connections there and we'll put that back into the black row there now the ground is hooked back up for input we will remove the ground plug for the output cable take it out of the black row and now the entire cable can be pulled out of its spot just pull that on out and it'll click right out of there and we can put a longer cable in instead i believe that'll be an e1 when you get these cables new they're kind of twisted together with a little twisty or twist tie so that they are you know all sorted together got two E1s so pop an E1 connection into that second jack which is the channel 1 output jack it's the second jack in the bottom row and now the output's going to be coming from the um, tone stack instead because we want the fuzz factory to go into the tone stack. So much like you plug pedals into each other, we're going to plug modules into each other. The output pin happens to be at B8, and then the black wire needs to go into a ground connection. So to get to ground, we're going to plug into A10. Now we need to connect up the output of the fuzz factory module to the input of the tone stack module. We use a red wire, short one, we start with column 12, we'll go to row K, K12, make sure that's nice and snug in there. And we'll jump that over to C7, which is the input to the tone stack module. Now hold your thumb on the one end of the wire while you push the other one in so it doesn't pop out on you, frustrating you and causing you to toss your invento box across the room. Use the screwdriver to push in the wire to make sure it's nice and secure in C7. And then flatten the wire down against the module to reduce stress and springiness that would cause it to pull the wires out. Next, we have to insert three small jumpers in order to get the tone stack to be wired up with the factory frequencies. We have these jumpers in there so that you can access different spots within the tone stack and change the center frequencies of the bass, mid-range, and treble. But if you want to just do it the, the way that we designed it, just put these jumpers in here. C1 and 2 have to be jumpered together. There's a little jumper symbol with JMP printed on there. It's very small. Get a magnifying glass, you can see it. 
And then uh, three and four, C three and four, can be jumper together. Oh, wow, that's the first time she's failed to get it on the first try. There we go. Pop that in there. A little screwdriver is useful for helping helping all these little connections to go go in. Keep trying. It'll go. You know, you don't have to use C, row C. You could use row B as well, as long as three and four are connected together. And now we have to hook up the last jumper into five and six. We're going to use row C. Once again, you could use row B or row A. They all work. Push that in with the screwdriver. And voila, the entire thing has been assembled. It is ready to test.